I want to talk to you today about absorption lines. How a cool gas that is in front of a continuous spectrum can absorb light of certain wavelengths from that continuous spectrum of light and so produce dark absorption lines. These lines are very important in astronomy. The pattern of these uh, dark absorption lines allow us to determine what elements exist in the atmospheres of stars. And as an example of that, let's take a quick look at the spectrum of the sun. If you take a look at this, you'll see that from red to blue, there are a vast number of dark absorption lines where the cool gas in the star's atmosphere, in our sun's atmosphere, has absorbed light from the underlying hotter solar surface. Now, I can't demonstrate this to you uh, because to absorb the light coming from this lamp, um, that would take a lot of gas between the lamp and the camera. And so that's not going to be possible. But what I can do is I can use a special piece of glass that looks like this. It's a filter. It's a type of glass known as a didymium filter. And it has a unique property as far as its ability to absorb light of just a certain wavelength. And so I'm going to show that to you. Here's my lamp. That's going to be the, surf, the source of the continuous spectrum. So my hot filament is going to produce a continuous spectrum of light. All the colors from blue to red. And then I'm going to hold this glass in front of the lamp. And you can see how the spectrum changes. To do that, I'm going to put my diffraction grating on the camera lens. Remember, this just breaks up light into its component colors, just like the raindrops of a rain, uh, do for a rainbow. So let me do that. Here we go. I'm going to put this onto the camera lens. And now that the diffraction grating is in place, I'm going to turn on this lamp, and you'll see the spectrum appear to the right of the lamp. So here it comes. And you can see the spectrum. As I've done before, I'm going to go turn off the room lamp and you can see uh, the spectrum a little bit better. So just a second. Ah, that's better. With the lights out, you can see the spectrum more clearly. Now I'm going to hold the didymium filter in front of the bulb. And so the continuous spectrum of light emitted by the bulb's filament will pass through the didymium filter. Before I do that, I want to point something out. You might notice three horizontal dark lines running through the spectrum. Those are shadows produced by the support, the little knobs that are supporting the filament in the bulb. And these shadows have nothing to do with the properties of the black body spectrum emitted by the bulb. Now I've put my didymium filter in a little holder because this bulb is very hot and I don't want to burn my fingers. I'm going to hold this didymium filter so that it just covers up the bottom half of the bulb. And that means you'll see the change in just the bottom half of the spectrum. So let's see what happens. Here we go. I'm bringing the didymium filter up. And there we go. You can see there's quite a change. Some of the light emitted by the bulb has disappeared from the continuous spectrum. And you see these dark absorption lines. 
most of the color around yellow has been absorbed. And you can see some dark absorption lines in the green part of the spectrum as well. Now, just as the light from the bulb is passing through the, is passing through the didymium filter and certain wavelengths are being absorbed, that's what happens in the atmospheres of the sun and other stars. Light is emitted from the hot surface of the stars and passes through cooler layers in the star's atmosphere. And those cooler layers absorb some wavelength, some colors, from the star's continuous spectrum. And that's what causes the dark absorption lines you saw in the sun spectrum. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of dark absorption lines, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.